Hi guys, uh, this video is going to be about uh, forces on an inclined plane. Uh, the question that we're going to do is being given to me by one of my students, so uh, let's get straight into it. So we've got a refrigerator breaking loose from the movers and slides down a 23 degree ramp that has a coefficient of kinetic friction equal to 0.25. What is its acceleration? Okay, so to start with with this question, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to find, well, figure out what the forces are acting on this fridge that we have here. So the first force we have is we have the force due to gravity which is going straight down. Great. Well we and these are all acting on the center of mass of the fridge. We also have the um, the normal force to the plane so it's perpendicular to the plane. And if the fridge is sliding down the ramp, we also have a force of friction, which is in the direction opposite to the direction of the force. So this force here is equal to mass times gravity. This force here is what we call the, for the normal force. And this force here is the force due to friction, which in this case is going to be equal to 0 0.25 times the normal force. Because the way we work, we use the way we work out the force of friction is that we get the coefficient of kinetic friction and multiply it by the force norm, normal to the plane. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to, to start with go about working out what each of these things are. Now, so the mass due to gravity, or the force due to gravity down here, we'll have mg, is going to be equal to 9.81 times whatever mass this fridge is going to be. Now, let's just change color. So this is going to be equal to just 9.81. 1m. Okay, so we've got this. Now we're going to have um, a component of this gravitational force um, in the direction of the plane. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to draw a force triangle. So we're going to have a force that is going this direction and we're going to have a force that is going in uh, this direction. So you'll be able to see that, and here is an angle which is equal to 23 degrees. Great. So the way we're going to be able to calculate our normal force, this normal force here is equal to this part of our triangle down here. Because what this part of the triangle is, is the component of the force due to gravitational acceleration that is in the direction perpendicular to the plane. So that is going to be our normal force. So the way we're going to calculate that, so our Fn is going to be equal to our Mg, which is 9.8m, or 9.81m, times the cosine of 23 degrees. Now the reason it's the cosine is because this is the hypotenuse and this is the adjacent and that is the trigonometric ratio that takes into account both of those sides. And we find out that the normal force in terms of its mass is going to um, be equal to a particular amount. We don't really mind because this force normal isn't going to be helping us at all. What we're trying to work out really is the force of friction. So the force of friction is going to be equal to the coefficient of kinetic friction multiplied by this normal force. And what we get then is we get a force of friction equal to 
m, and that's newtons. Cool. So what we're going to have, what is going to cause this refrigerator to accelerate down the ramp is the component of the force due to gravity in the direction of the incline. So this one here, we'll call this FD. So FD is going to be equal to the gravitation, the force due to gravity, which is going to be 9.81 m times by, because this is the opposite side now to the angle, the sine of 23 degrees. And that gives us a number of 3.83. Cool, and that's in Newtons as well. Now, what we have is we have two forces that are going in opposite directions to each other. So what we have to find is we have to find the resultant force of the, the force going down the ramp as well as the frictional force due to the coefficient of kinetic friction, which is working in the opposite direction of the refrigerator's motion. So our, for, our resultant force, or FR, is going to be equal to 3.83 minus 2.26 and that's all going to be in terms of the mass of the object and that is equal to 1.57 m newtons great so we know that we have 1.57 times the mass of the fridge newtons of force going parallel to the plane. So to finish this off, because we have to work out what the fridge's acceleration is, we know that force is equal to mass times acceleration. So therefore, acceleration is going to have to equal force over mass. So the force parallel to the plane is going to be one point five seven m because it's all in terms of the mass of the object and that's going to be divided by the actual mass of the object so what you're going to find is the masses are going to cancel out and we're going to have the acceleration of this fridge be equal to 1.57 meters per second squared then you have, because this is a vector quantity, you have to give a direction. You can say down the ramp. Great. So that was a very quick example of how we can get a resultant acceleration um, of a object on an inclined plane, which also considers, considers a coefficient of kinetic friction. So I hope the video helped and I'll see you next time.